are sailing to the Southern Ocean to test the hypothesis that volcanic activity on the seafloor is helping nourish phytoplankton in the Southern Ocean. The Investigator is a world-class research vessel. She has an almost unparalleled scientific acoustic suite on board. This region we're going to, around Heard Island, um, is an oasis of marine life and marine plants in an otherwise ocean desert. But if we can pull this off, then I think it's a global first. Back to the sea. Well, after being eight years in the planning phases and competing for ship time, I think there's a high degree of anticipation and excitement about finally setting off to do this work. Our mission to explore the floor of the ocean, a world more mysterious than the surface of the moon. We've just seen some anomalies on the multi-beam sonar and also on the single-beam split uh, sonar that suggests that there's bubbles or some anomalously warm water coming out of the seafloor. So we're now going back to take a second look at a right angle to the original track over the seafloor that was emanating these, whatever it's emanating, bubbles or fluids. So Anna, we've just gone over the uh, set of volcanoes and one of them is emitting bubbles, and we turn the ship around, we're going to have another look. So I've seen one, seen them all.
just done our first dredge of the research voyage and the worst thing that can happen to a dredge when you're attempting to, to recover something from the seafloor is you get nothing and then you don't know whether you've not put the uh, dredge bucket on the floor or whether it's undredgeable but uh, we've got some gravel which we knew was there around the uh, little mound and we've got some rocks and so that's a positive result we're happy with that mission completed for this particular site and we're going to move on uh, numerous small pieces of aphiric basalt, some somewhat altered. Diamonds? And ho! We have uh, Maya Rock and McDonnell Island out just fine off the starboard bow. First land we've sighted in about uh, 20 odd days, so we will be excited to see some um, terra firma. Lost patience from dry land and slow. I will this fit this this life guided by my hand. So the man is going in the stick. Real life. This would be terribly exciting, wouldn't it? Well, it's been a very fine morning for science. We've circumnavigated McDonald Islands nearly twice now, and we've identified six plumes emanating from the seafloor, which we presume are hydrothermal vents. So we're very excited about going back to them and sampling them. Yeah, so this is the first time anyone's mapped the ocean floor in this region, so it's really groundbreaking science that we've got. Set ourselves tomorrow, tonight watching merrily. When there's a way to find freedom, on the west of the great open sea. When there's a way to find freedom, on the west of the great open sea. On the west of the great open sea. So these are uh, some really nice volcanic rocks that have been washed out from uh, McDonald Island. Down on the slopes, heavy rainfall, snow, and uh, taken away eastwards from the island. So in, in effect it's a, a grab bag of the kind of rocks that are on the volcano itself. come down for three months and seen the top of the mountain once in that time period. We've seen it four times now in the last three days. So that's very exciting. We don't know much about Heard Island even though it's Australia's currently active volcano. Um, so we think that it erupts a lot more often than has previously been thought. So this is exciting to see this eruption. Not many people get to see one down here.
sounds like the sea. <laughs> but all the rocks are floating. <laughs> Sticky black mud and hard round rocks from the Cretaceous period dating back to 34 BC. I think we found some very different things and that's always good in science when you find things that you didn't expect. experienced crew here, both the scientists and the people on board the research vessel, but we're working in the Southern Ocean. It's the uh, windiest, wildest place on Earth to work in, in all the way of Earth's ocean. So we have to deploy in very difficult conditions. Um, the ship's able to hold its course in 30 and 35 knot winds, um, but we have to be very careful when we deploy the system so we, the rosette doesn't swing and hit the ship, and we try to keep a straight wire angle at all times. Um, and then when we recover it again, we're offering recovery in very strong winds. So again, it's a very careful operation to time when we bring it out of the water, land it on the deck, and then securely um, stow it away in our trace metal key container. Back to the sea.